My name is Matthew Wells, and I'm the VP of uh, product for GE Digital's manufacturing business. Uh, and, and I'm here today to talk to you about the challenges and impacts of non-standardized data in smart manufacturing. Um, but first, I want to just tell you a little bit about GE Digital and give you a bit of an intro. Um, GE Digital is a key business inside of the GE uh, business family. Um, you know, within GE Digital, we serve five different markets. We serve uh, utilities, uh, we serve power generation, oil and gas, aviation, and of course, manufacturing. Uh, we've been uh, we've been in manufacturing for over 30 years. We have uh, many customers where we've helped them with their operational agility. Um, so, speaking of uh, manufacturing, and in particular, smart manufacturing, I want to talk about three pillars of smart manufacturing. The first is operational excellence. Um, and I'd like to start with an example. So we have a, a food customer who was, uses a broad swath of our products across SCADA, MES, uh, and analytics. And with this broad swath of software, this breadth of software, they were able to generate a lot of data. And then with that data, use our analytics tools to gain a 7% improvement in their biomass yield uh, mainly by reducing variability of their batches. The key question though is, how do you do this at enterprise scale? You know, often, or, or very often, the, the most amount of time spent on any analytics project is spent cleaning and getting access to the data. Um, and so one of the things that we have done in GE Digital to help with this is we've gone and created a standardized enterprise manufacturing data store. Um, our manufacturing data cloud offering. And today we have terabytes of info, you know, across many different sites, across the different customers. And because of this, we're able to do things like find the root cause of a customer complaint in a tenth of the time that it would normally take. And the main reason for this is that we have already cleaned and standardized that data and made it available uh, so that when you get to simply applying the analytics, it's so much easier. And again, that's an example of how creating standardized data can really advance smart manufacturing. The second pillar is NPI flexibility. And again, this is a problem of manufacturing, of, of managing data. You know, as we talk to customers, one of the things that we hear is that, you know, customer demand is continuously changing. And as a result of that, the number of SKUs is continuously increasing. Product runs are getting shorter, changeovers are getting a lot more frequent, and it's getting harder and harder to manage this process. Um, and one of the interesting learnings that we've had is that when dealing with you know, these changing bill of materials, these changing recipes as, as you're going from one product grade to the next, is that this bomb is spread across many different systems. Some of it's in PLM, some of it's in ERP, some of it's in MES, and even other systems. And, the, and a big challenge is to bring all this data together, not only bring it together, but do it quickly and do it, you know, and when you're trying to do that at an enterprise scale across different sites, that makes the problem even harder. And so again, this is one thing that we've been working on with our customers on and solving these problems. We've been integrating to these different systems and standardizing the data set across them. And in doing so, you know, we can improve the, the first time uh, right quality of our customers by 15%. And the main reason for this is that we've eliminated the time to clean and standardize the data and enabling our customers to make decisions faster. The third pillar I want to talk about is supply chain flexibility. Um, based on work we've been doing inside of GE, supply chain processes can have a significant impact um, on our customers' manufacturing shop floor and the production operations. And as you look at these supply chain processes, there's many different silos of data uh, across the process. And so again, you know, by creating a standardized approach to the data, we're able to make this data visible to a broad set of users within the process. So buyers, planners, plant operations people. And in doing so, you know, creating that standard set of data, we're driving to you know, dashboards and KPIs that help those different roles drive to root cause of any problems. You know, whether like something you know, in, in flight, the shipment is, is delayed or production is delayed or whatever reason, 
you know, by standardizing this data, making it available, we are enabling our our uh, factories to reduce their uh, inventory by 10%. And this could not have happened without standardizing the data. The last thing I want to talk about is process optimization and everyone's favorite buzzword, IoT. Um, you know, really one I think that the fundamental tenets of, of IoT is trying to drive to continuous improvement. And again, one of the key things about continuous improvement is getting to the data and getting to the data quickly. Um, I think that is a, a key facet of continuous improvement. And having that data available and getting to it in a, in a way that is very fast and so people can react, you know, can react to it and develop actions around it. Um, and so, for example, one of the things that, that, again, we have done within our portfolio, so Prophecy Historian, is we, we've enabled uh, our customers to be able to quickly connect their historians and ship uh, the data in those historians to any cloud or IoT platform. You know, we offer support, for example, for Azure IoT, AWS, Google, Alibaba, and many others as well. And so having this data quickly available and the standardization makes projects a lot more agile and it makes them faster. Um, so as you can see, I've described uh, you know, a, a few different ways that standardizing data and standardizing data interaction can drive smart manufacturing and can drive continuous improvement. Um, and Sesame's work in this area and driving you know, industry-wide standardization and access to data can really have a material impact on the manufacturing industry. So we at GE Digital really look forward to working together more with the Sesame team. And with that, thank you very much. I hope uh, this was helpful.